Will you join me for a second as we travel back in time? All the way to June 7th, 2011. And Nintendo is revealing to the world for the first time, the Wii U. I was actually in that room. And who can forget the hype? I mean, before the massive wave of confusion. Point is, Nintendo is showing off the gamepad for the very first time. By showing off a ton of different uses for it. Like as a sketchpad, a portable screen, a ninja star launcher, or even as a window to extend the game world beyond the TV. It's easy to forget, but it actually did seem pretty cool at the time. Now, while most of those examples eventually went on to be used in Nintendo's own games, there was at least one that didn't, and it always stuck out to me. Yep, it's when someone got mad during a game of reversi and sent the pieces flying by tilting the gamepad. I want to do that! And for eight long years I waited, yearning one day to be able to do the same, to send those game pieces flying. Well, my friends, I'm here to tell you that my nearly decade-long wait might finally be over. Because it just so happens that Nintendo's Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics includes Reversi, though it's now called Renegade. So let's start it up in tabletop mode and see what happens if we tilt the game board. Yes! Yes! And it's not a one and done thing, as the pieces will magically reappear if you settle down for a second, letting you do it again, and again, and again! You can even play around with them! Whee! This is undoubtedly the highlight of my year. And guess what? It's not just Renegade, as it works in a few other games too, like Checkers and Chess. Dear God, it's beautiful. It's such a fun little detail that didn't need to be included, and yet, here it is. Only a mere nine years after it was first shown to us. Clearly this is why the Wii U failed. Okay, now we should probably mention the fact that there technically was a third party game on the Wii U that actually did the exact same thing. Being Reversi 32. But we don't really count it because Nintendo didn't make it, and we're pretty sure almost no one knows that game exists. So there you have it, a pretty fun easter egg in Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics, as well as one happy Andre. Thanks for watching, and make sure to click that subscribe button and ring that bell for more Happy Andres and everything else Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics too. We'll catch you later. Bye.